Let's pray before we begin. Lord, please let us understand your word and put it in our hearts. May it shape our lives to be more like your son. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Real quick, if you like this content, please like, subscribe, and share this with your friends. Thank you. Chapter 41 Keep silence before me, O islands, and let the people renew their strength. Let them come near, then let them speak. Let us come near together to judgment. Who raised up the righteous man from the east, called him to his foot, gave the nations before him, and made him rule over kings? He gave them as the dust to his sword, and as driven stubble to his bow. He pursued them and passed safely, even by the way that he had not gone with his feet. Who hath wrought and done it, calling the generations from the beginning? I, the Lord, the first, and with the last, I am he. The isles saw it and feared, the ends of the earth were afraid, drew near, and came. They helped every one his neighbor, and every one said to his brother, Be of good courage. So the carpenter encouraged the goldsmith, and he that smootheth with the hammer him that smote the anvil, saying, It is ready for the soldering. And he fastened it with nails, that it should not be moved. But thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth, and called thee from the chief men thereof, and said unto thee, Thou art my servant, I have chosen thee, and not cast thee away. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them, and shalt not find them, even them that contended with thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing, and as a thing of naught. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, thou worm, Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument, having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains, and beat them small, and shalt make the hills as chaff. Thou shalt fan them, and the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them. And thou shalt rejoice in the Lord, and shalt glory in the Holy One of Israel. When the poor and needy seek water, and there is none, and their tongue faileth for thirst, I, the Lord, will hear them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will open rivers in high places, and fountains in the midst of the valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water, and the dry land springs of water. I will plant in the wilderness the cedar, the shitta tree, and the myrtle, and the oil tree. I will set in the desert the fir tree and the pine and the box tree together, that they may see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of the Lord hath done this, and the Holy One of Israel hath created it. Produce your cause, saith the Lord. Bring forth your strong reason, saith the King of Jacob. Let them bring them forth and show us what shall happen. Let them show the former things, what they be, that we may consider them and know the latter end of them, or declare us things for to come. Show the things that are to come hereafter, that we may know that ye are gods. Yea, do good or do evil, that we may be dismayed and behold it together. Behold, ye are of nothing, and your work of naught. An abomination is he that chooseth you. I have raised up one from the north, and he shall come. From the rising of the sun shall he call upon my name, and he shall come upon princes as upon mortar, and as the potter treadeth clay. Who hath declared from the beginning that we may know, and before time that we may say, He is righteous? Yea, there is none that showeth. Yea, there is none that declareth. Yea, there is none that heareth your words. The first shall say to Zion, Behold, behold them, and I will give to Jerusalem one that bringeth good tidings. For I beheld, and there was no man, even among them, and there was no counsellor that when I asked of them could answer a word. 
Behold, they are all vanity, their works are nothing, their molten images are wind and confusion. Matthew Henry Commentary on Isaiah chapter 41, verses 1 to 9. Can any heathen god raise up one in righteousness, make what use of him he pleases, and make him victorious over the nations? The Lord did so with Abraham, or rather he would do so with Cyrus. Sinners encourage one another in the ways of sin. Shall not the servants of the living God stir up one another in his service? God's people are the seed of Abraham, his friend. This is certainly the highest title ever given to a mortal. It means that Abraham, by divine grace, was made like to God, and that he was admitted to communion with him. Happy are the servants of the Lord, whom he has called to be his friends, and to walk with him in faith and holy obedience. Let not such as have thus been favoured yield to fear, for the contest may be sharp, but the victory shall be sure. Verses 10 to 20. God speaks with tenderness. Fear thou not, for I am with thee, not only within call, but present with thee. Art thou weak? I will strengthen thee. Art thou in want of friends? I will help thee in the time of need. Art thou ready to fall? I will uphold thee with that right hand which is full of righteousness, dealing forth rewards and punishments. There are those that strive with God's people, that seek their ruin. Let not God's people render evil for evil, but wait God's time. It is the worm Jacob, so little, so weak, so despised and trampled on by everybody. God's people are as worms, in humble thoughts of themselves and in their enemies' haughty thoughts of them. Worms, but not vipers, not of the serpent's seed. Every part of God's word is calculated to humble man's pride and to make him appear little in his own eyes. The Lord will help them, for he is their Redeemer. The Lord will make Jacob to become a threshing instrument. God will make him fit for use, new and having sharp spikes. This has fulfilment in the triumphs of the gospel of Christ and of all faithful followers of Christ over the power of darkness. God has provided comforts to supply all their wants and to answer all their prayers. Our way to heaven lies through the wilderness of this world. The soul of man is in want and seeks for satisfaction, but becomes weary of seeking that in the world, which is not to be had in it. Yet they shall have a constant supply where one would least expect it. I will open rivers of grace, rivers of living water, which Christ spake of the Spirit, John 7, verses 38 and 39. When God sets up his church in the Gentile wilderness, there shall be a great change, as if thorns and briars were turned into cedars, and fir trees and myrtles. These blessings are kept for the poor in spirit, who long for divine enlightening, pardon and holiness and God will render their barren souls fruitful in the grace of his Spirit, that all who behold may consider it. Verses 21 to 29. There needs no more to show the folly of sin than to bring to notice the reasons given in defence of it. There is nothing in idols worthy of regard. They are less than nothing, and worse than nothing. Let the advocates of other doctrines than that of salvation through Christ bring their arguments. Can they tell of a cure for human depravity? Jehovah has power which cannot be withstood. This he will make appear, but the certain knowledge of the future must be only with Jehovah, who fulfills his own plans. All prophecies, except those of the Bibli, have been uncertain. In the work of redemption, the Lord showed himself much more than in the release of the Jews from Babylon. The good tidings the Lord will send in the Gospel is a mystery hid from ages and generations. A deliverer is raised up for us, of nobler name and greater power than the deliverer of the captive Jews. May we be numbered among his obedient servants and faithful friends. Please consider, how does this chapter apply to you? Thank you for listening. If you want to know more about Jesus and what the gospel means to you, then hit the video shown on the left of the screen and please don't forget to subscribe. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless your day.